Hi, this is Ken from CadImage, and I'm going to show you a quick run through our new CadImage installer version 2. There's a number of bits to look at. We can install and install, we can use an offline installation, and we can also reset the installation from this new installer. So what I'm going to do is just go straight into the installer itself. And the first thing it does, because it's the first time I've run it, is ask us for a username and password. This is so the installer can connect to your account and give you the correct details. So I'll come back to these options in a second. So I'm just going to go with the install for now. So once I've logged in, what it'll actually do is show me a little bit of detail about the user account this is associated with. There is a logout button if we need to change users for some reason. We then have the main bits that really control and make this new installer different from the previous one. So my tools list the tools that are currently available to install or uninstall. Install and uninstall is the, the same part of the dialog as you can see here. We have an option to uninstall all or install all, depending on what we're looking to put on this particular machine. We then have further options that allow us to check for updates, so there's no updates currently available right now. Similarly, trial versions, I have all the, the commercial versions on here, so there's no trial versions and there's no educational versions, so these are blank right now. But depending on what you're using, that would then show in these appropriate tabs. If we go back to the tools, another big difference between this version of the installer and the previous one is it actually allows us to choose which version of ARCHICAD we're installing the tools to. And it will recognise ARCHICAD SE 2015, 18 solo, full 18, and also 19. But what you can see here is that I've got two versions of 19, so it actually allows me to pick and choose between those ones. So what I could do is maybe switch to this one, and that shows a different range of tools to be installed. If I want to install, I literally just click the install button, up will pop the end user license agreement, and all we do is hit the accept button. That then starts the download, the installation, and does everything it needs to do, and it's now complete. Once it's complete, there's an option to uninstall, um, but I've just put it on, so let's not do that just yet. So that's how we can install and uninstall. The other thing we can do is what's called an offline installation. So to do that, I need to log out. I'm going to create the file to begin with, so what I do is choose an offline mode, and I'm going to create the offline install. So again, log in. And the first thing it prompts me for is where to save the install file. Let's just call it Cadimage Tools 19. So we'll save that to my desktop. This obviously has to be done from a machine that has a live internet connection. But what you can do is once you've created this file, you can then move it on a memory stick across a network, whatever it is. You can take it to another machine and do the install on a machine that doesn't have a live connection. Or alternatively, you can download all of the tools. So let's just do coverings this time for speed. You can download all of the tools, save them into this file, and then you can go to multiple machines and install from that one offline install file. So that's created what we need. We'll just save that and come back out. What I could then do at this stage is pretend I've shifted to a different machine, switch to offline mode, but then what I can do is actually open up that file that I've just created. So it's this one here. Open that. What I need to do is make sure I'm in the right version, so it's actually this version of 19 here, and what that does is then show me what tools are available to be installed. So I literally click install, hit the accept button, and this time it's virtually instant because it's only moving a couple of tiny files across. So that's the offline install as well. Another part to take a quick look at is if I actually switch across to Windows. This is just a parallel session that's already open, and this is a different account, it's just a dummy account I've set up so I can show off what's going on here. But you'll see that under my tools for ARCHICAD 18, I've got a few tools installed. For ARCHICAD 19, I've got a couple of different tools. But what I can actually do is, this is using a, a non-commercial version, you can actually see under the trial button that there are tools available to install as trials for 19 and also 18. The list is different there because I've obviously installed ones at different times. But again, same process, you can hit the install button and off it goes and does what it needs to do. So I'll go back to macOS, and the final thing to take a look at is if I just close out of here and relaunch the installer. The final thing is we do have a reset option. Now this is not something you should be using every day, or, or really it's, it's not anything you should use unless you're advised to do it with one of the support agents. Uh, this resets the installation files so that if you're experiencing problems where the installer doesn't show the right tools or 
it's just odd behaviour with it. So it's not an everyday thing, but it is an option that's there just to point out. You may be asked to use that at some point if you're having problems. But otherwise, that's the installer. It's pretty straightforward to use, so have a play and thanks for watching the video.